Welcome back to this week's edition of Carolina Cart Scene, episode number 45. I want to apologize for not being able to put out a video in the last couple of weeks between me racing myself and then North Carolina trying to be Alaska 2.0. Uh, there's been a lot of different rain and freezing temps that I have not been able to get to the racetrack like I wanted to and uh, film some action or to do this uh, episode. So hopefully we'll be able to get back on track and I know I will so that I can uh, update the different races that are going on. I noticed on Frank's uh, outdoor page, he also is looking for racetracks to go to. So if you see Frank roaming around uh, empty racetrack, definitely grab him and take him to one of the racetracks we'll talk about a little bit later in this episode. Uh, speaking of the weather, a lot of different racetracks had to cancel this past couple of weeks uh, between Triple T and Foothills and also the cart, the Wing Cart Series has not even run yet because of the weather. So hopefully the weather does get better. So. In Racetrack Series news, Big 3 Series has put out that they're going to run a couple of different events. Looks like they're going to be at um, Georgia Karting Complex, 178 Speedway, and also Sugar Tit. So it's good to see that series running again and uh, put out a schedule for this year. They always put on a great show. Uh, they raffled off and gave away a chassis last year. And so it's always uh, good to see a lot more involvement. And they always put on a, a really well-run show. So hopefully you get out and run with them and have some fun with them. Also, Tri-County Cartway in Kenley, North Carolina is going to have a practice day on February the 10th. Uh, they're going to have a bigger event on February the 17th that we'll talk about a little bit later on. So if you have not raced uh, this year or have not been able to race because of the weather, this is a good opportunity to get out and knock the cobwebs off. Uh, scuff in some tires and get ready for their bigger events later in the year. Uh, they also have posted about their backyard series, and we'll talk about that later later on as those races do come up. Another event I want to talk about that I've not mentioned here before is Charlotte Racers Expo is going to be at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center in Concord, North Carolina. And it's always a great event. I've been to it the last two years. Uh, they have an auction that goes on. They sometimes will have cart uh, stuff for auction at that one facility. Uh, there's also a lot of different vendors, a lot of different trade shows, so it's always a good event to get out to, uh, especially on the weekends and having something a little bit different to do. So if you're in the area, uh, definitely check them out and go and have some fun with them. Also want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing all to all the different videos and watching them. Really appreciate it. Uh, we'll continue to update on racetracks as we go throughout the year. So if you're looking to race in the Carolinas, North Carolina, and Georgia, we'll definitely keep that covered. So please like, subscribe, and uh, we'll get into it. First racetrack I want to talk about running on February 3rd weekend is going to be Sickle Hill Cartway in Manning, South Carolina. Uh, gates opening up at 10 a.m. with prices starting around 12, uh, 12 p.m. Uh, a lot of different classes. They also will have a kids bike race, juice box, red plate, full slate of junior classes. They will also have a couple of classes that are going to be Reaper only tire event. Uh, so definitely a really good opportunity to get out. The Dakar and Predator Super Stock is also going to be running on this weekend. Uh, so hopefully again the weather holds out for everybody and you'll be able to go out and run and have some fun with them. Next is Hanging Rock Cartway in Kershaw, South Carolina. They'll be running on February the 3rd. Uh, a lot of different classes. They got a lot of different classes that are going to be running on Reaper Tires, Pro Clone 375, No Pro Amateur 375, Clone 3 425, Red Plates, Junior Classes, and on throughout the line. Uh, they also have an open tire to where they also have a treaded tire. Uh, again, treaded tires are becoming more and more popular throughout South Carolina and North Carolina run. Uh, so it's good to see more and more of the, because I, I personally believe they put on a really great show uh, as far as racing. They'll have four different classes like they're going to have for treads, or no, five, including Champ 425. And they'll also have some uh, open tires for a clone 375, 425, and run what you brung. So definitely a great opportunity to get out race. Gates open up at 10 a.m. We have practice start at 12. So hopefully you have some fun. Another racetrack running on this weekend is going to be Cross Anchor Raceway in Entry, South Carolina. They'll actually be running on Sunday, February the 4th as part of their winter series that are going to have. Uh, they had rain a part of their first race. So this is actually going to be the first 
race of the season or for the series for the track. Uh, they'll have a lot of different classes, pro, junior one, two, and three, also your regular uh, junior classes, rookie red plate, Box stock will also be running on this uh, weekend. They'll also have a lot of different clone classes. They also are going to have a flathead 375. But in addition to the traditional flat carts, they're also going to have some wing cart classes, box stock and beginner box stock. Uh, so definitely a great race, great time to get out to it. So hopefully you can get out there and have some fun. Gates open at 10 a.m. and prices start at 1 p.m. Uh, so hopefully have some have some good time. Also running on February the 3rd is going to be Liberty Raceway Park and Clint Mills Enterprises is going to be putting on a show on this particular day. They've got a lot of different classes. Uh, again, your traditional teen, teen champ, red plate, junior classes, pro clone uh, champ, uh, clone 425, 375, predator classes, pro clone. So a lot of different opportunities to get out and race and have some fun at Liberty. Uh, I'm not 1% sure if they're going to have their YouTube page up, but definitely if you get an opportunity, watch that so you can watch the action throughout the day. If you cannot make it out to the track. Uh, gates open up at 8 a.m. with practice start at 10 a.m. Uh, again, this is in Liberty, North Carolina. So hopefully you get out and race with them and, and have some fun. Also running on February the 3rd is Southern Cartway in Loris, South Carolina. Uh, it looks like their gates are going to open up at 9, but prices start at 10 a.m. Uh, this is a benefit race they're, they're going to have on this particular day, so there's going to be a lot of great racing, and a lot of different classes. Uh, looks like it'll be an open tire rule for most of the classes that are going to be there, Pro, Clone Heavy, Clone Heavy, Clone Light, also the Juniors as always, uh, Senior Champ Clone, um, as I mentioned before, it looks like they had run some animals in the past, but this time it's like they're going to run Champ with uh, clone motors. So again, uh, great facility, great time we've, we've had there in the past. So hopefully you can get out and run with them and have some fun with them. And again, this is in Laura, South Carolina. Gates open at 9 a.m. First racetrack I'm going to talk about running on February the 10th is 178 Speedway in Pelion, South Carolina. Uh, they've been struck by the weather bug and they've gotten some um, cancellations earlier in the year. So hopefully they'll have some better weather and they'll be able to run this coming the, on the February the 10th. A lot of different classes, clone 375, 350, super heavy. They also have different points classes to car running, uh, champ carts, amateurs, junior classes, rookie red plate, juice box. Uh, all these different ones. And also, this will be a Maxxis Tire only event. Uh, so definitely a great track. And again, this is another track I really want to get out to. And hopefully, uh, I'm going to put it on the bucket list this year. And I'm going to definitely make it out to a race. So um, hopefully, they'll run and uh, hope the weather will stay out for them. Also running on February the 10th is going to be Sugar Tit Speedway running the Carolina Kart Series. This series has had some trouble getting started as it's been raining almost every single weekend that they've had planned. So uh, with a couple of different cancellations, they also tried to run a double header. Uh, again, got canceled or rained down on that one. They're going to try again on their very first uh, race of the year at Sugar Tit on February the 10th. Uh, so this will be a combination of all the different chart uh of wing cart classes in addition to a few of the flat card i think i think believe um champ carts also so definitely check out their facebook page for updates on times when they're going to get started and hopefully get out and race with them Next up, running on February the 10th is the Crown Jewel Tour, going to do the Winter Brawl at Liberty Raceway Park. This is actually the second week in a row that Liberty Raceway Park is running, but there's two different organizations that are promoting the event. So this is going to be the Fall Brawl presented by Chop Shop and 542 Solutions. Uh, this is always a great series to run with and go and get out with. Uh, it's always put on a really fast show, even they have a lot of different classes. Uh, they're going to have the Stacy Bean Birthday Bash, the Sack Daddy, Ultimate Super Heavy, and a lot of different other classes, including Junior Classes, Predator, Champ Classes, and they also have a points series that they run within their races. Uh, this is a, So if you're looking for a point series to run to, this is always a great organization to run with. Uh, and hopefully you can get in there and start battling for different points as they go to a lot of different tracks uh, throughout the year. Gates open up at 10 a.m. with practice starting at 12. Uh, so hopefully you can get out and watch them and hopefully they'll, Liberty Raceway will also have their, face, or their YouTube channel open so that you can get live events if you cannot make it to the race. So definitely one of the Hopefully the weather stays good and hopefully everybody get out and race with them. 
One of the racetracks we'll talk about actually running in Georgia is Hurricane Creek Raceway in Alma, Georgia. They'll be putting on a show on February the 10th. They have a lot of different classes, uh, pro classes of medium, heavy, and super heavy. They also have some pro junior one, two, and three classes carts that are going to be running uh warm-up classes also adult reaper predator classes are going to be available predator 425 all kind of different ones gates open up at 10 i mean i'm sorry at 11 with prices start at two so definitely um try to get out to and support and have some fun